In today's video on how to build your food truck with me, Frank Baltieres, I'm gonna be taking you along this round trip that we took to Ohio to pick up the three main components in your food truck or trailer being the exhaust hood um, and the fan that goes up the top, also the concession window and the water tanks. And shout out to Class A Customs because they stayed open a little bit late for us because traffic hit us nasty on I-80 as we were going to pick them up. So thank you again and welcome to the channel. If you're new, woo, headed out to the great state of Ohio. Got the critters back there. And it seems like every time I get something for the trailer, it's raining on the way there. When I got the trailer, now that I'm picking up the concession window, the tanks and the hood, we got another downpour, but uh, it is what it is. Let's get moving to the great state of Ohio. Approaching the welcome to Indiana sign. It seems like always when I pass through here, I gotta record it. Like a tradition almost. Welcome to Indiana. Next stop, Ohio. The hardest part is driving around at 2.52 in the morning because this is the only way that you can make the round trip to catch every single business open. Driving at this crazy night hours. Headed right here to Fort Wayne, and you can see that 63 miles. There's one way to see the sunrise. It's about 4.50 a.m. Eastern Time. I'm sorry, Central Standard Time. 5.50 Eastern Standard Time. And we're about to cross into the great state of Ohio right there. Ohio. And it is so early. I need like two cups of coffee. It is rough stuff. I'm telling you. But I'll tell you how much the shipping is. The ship out. The window, the concession window, I'll ask them right now just to verify, and then Hood Mart, and we'll see how much collectively we are, uh, uh, I guess, saving quotations. I did it to be able to film it for you guys so you guys can see exactly where these plates are at because this year I might have just shipped it, but uh, I'm doing it for you. Look at that out here, they have those wind turbines as well, producing electricity. They got them spinning around, they got the, the wind farms all the way out there. As far as the eye can see, it's a beautiful morning though. Beautiful. Let's keep driving. There's about a little less than three hours to go. Oh, I have to stretch. Arrive to a rest area right here in Ohio. Oh, I don't know if I'm cut out for these road trips anymore. It has been a long time since I've driven longer distances. I usually go like to Michigan City, Indiana, South Bend and things like that, but uh, a little bit much for me so i don't know i don't know if i'll do another one but for now you gotta suck it up as they say suck it up buttercup and uh take a little nap and then we're off again oh look at that big boat right there let's go look what we have there like an old refinery or something it seems like right on the right a lot of construction going on right here on the street that you take which is us 30. About 45 minutes away. So we're hustling, man, because I think we're running tight on time. It seems like it take, took a little bit longer this time to get over here than, than normal. I didn't know this when I filled up right now, but look at that. It gave me a range of 552 miles on this Chevy Avalanche when I filled up. That's pretty cool. We're here entering off the highway into Ohio, really close to JR Aluminum, and we're about to get into Amish country, that's pretty cool. We're gonna see some horse and buggies hopefully in the street. Get a little bit clip of those. That's kind of the biggest reason why I like taking this trip. See something different than uh, Chicago streets. So we're about maybe 15, 20 minutes away right now with the Chevy Avalanche. It's crazy looking at that. There's a Ford dealership out here in this little itty bitty town. To be honest, it's JR Aluminum Place. It's in the middle of nowhere. Like, that's no joke. Golden Bear. And I don't know what town this is right here. Apple Creek, I think is what it's called, if I saw the sign correctly. Cool little town driving down one of their main streets. And just wanted to show you a little bit of how it looks out here. If you do decide to make the trip out here, it's pretty cool. It's one of those things that uh, you do once and you're like, ah, oh, that's cool, I saw it. I've done it three times. Uh, this might be my last time, next time I have it shipped. It's a little bit rough driving out here but uh, I do recommend it if you want to see where they make it and go somewhere where it's the middle of nowhere see it is called 
the city of Apple Creek right there. So that is a grand tour that I'm giving you of this little town and let's see what we find on the streets up here driving around. Look at this because I don't know how many chances we'll get. It's a little bit more later in the day. So there is one of the Amish buggies right there riding on the shoulder. That's how they get around over here. Right around and hit the shoulder. Look at that. Sorry for that road noise. I was trying not to hit them. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of horse barns out here. A lot of those Amish horse buggies riding on the right side right there. You can see it because there's a lot of animal feces that drops on there. Let's see if we can get something else. But we're about seven minutes away now from JR Luna. Look at that, there are a couple more right here. It's just pretty cool seeing them just because it's not something that you see often. Well, for us here in, like in Illinois, you don't see too many horse and buggies pulling a, a carriage around. But over here, it's something that uh, happens, I guess, probably daily. Look at that, boom. Awesome to see, a little bit different lifestyle. One thing that I've always wanted to do that I've never had the chance because of time is go see some of their furniture out here. It always seems like they have some really high quality stuff like solid oak furniture and whatnot, but I've never had the opportunity to stop by just because we're always in a rush because we need to catch all three places open. But these, uh, if you ever have the time, that'd be cool to see. Make sure you video it and put it up on YouTube. Here we go, we have arrived. Literally, I'm gonna show you that this place is in, the, is in the middle of nowhere. In the aspects of like no other places, they have some, ooh, look at that's a nice house. Brand new construction right there. But this place right here is the red building that you see right there, that's JR Aluminum. This place right here, I think they added it just because of the demand and business they've had. They put that new sign right there that wasn't there before. This is the original building that they were using JR Aluminum products right there in the middle of nowhere next to this chicken farm or this rooster farm right here. So let's go pay. Let's go pick it up. Look at that right there. That's what we got. That's what we're working with. This used to be the old beginning factory and now they expanded because of a lot of business. So they make a great product and because of that, they have a lot of business. Yeah, they got all the metal right there. They're in the other building, so let's walk over there. All right, so, all right, so I have to drive over to the new part of the building. I guess that's where everybody's at now. So they have this little back road back here. And we're gonna pick up this window. It's a big, big warehouse that they have. I'm very nice, I'm very happy to see that they have a lot of business that uh, they're able to expand. But with that, let's pick this window up and we gotta literally haul butt over to Hood Mart to make it back to uh, Elkhart, Indiana before they close at 3.30, Class A Customs. Well, now we say goodbye to JR Aluminum. It was a quick pickup at the dock door right over there. And then we have the silos right there. Let's see if we see anything riding around. We saw some cool ones riding, but uh, we weren't able to catch it on video. Some cool buggies. But for that, we are out of here, off the hood mark. It's about an hour and some change away up north in Ohio. Galloping through the streets. I wonder if they stop at stop signs. Let's see, that'd be interesting. Where's he gonna blow right through it? Oh, ticket, ticket. You didn't stop at the stop sign. Pretty cool to see him. Yeah. We'll see you later, we're out of here. between these two dealerships is a street called Broad Street. We take a right and then we're gonna be pulling up into Hood Mart, the last stop here in Ohio, before we haul butt over to Class A Customs to pick up these two tanks that uh, we'll probably just barely catch them open to be honest. So let's 
the strap up the hood and the exhaust fan and I want to ask them how do you lubricate the motor that's my number one question that I'm gonna ask them we pull up to this industrial park right here and towards the dead end right over there is where hood mart is at where they make all the majority of the ones that I've seen for um, food truck exhaust systems exhaust hoods they make them right here in-house and then we're just gonna pick it up and get moving exactly where that UPS truck is that's where we need to load up thank you for moving buddy and now we just back up in there this is where all the stuff is right there just so you guys can get a visual of the building and where they make it you got all these hoods right here right in hood mart it's a bunch of hoods different sizes look at that just want to show you the inside warehouse look in case you guys never make it out here this thing's massive right there look at that oh this one has a fire suppression system right inside and you can see the black piping right there there it is there's the inside of hood mart where you guys get your hoods all in one supply place for the exhaust that goes inside your food truck or your mobile food trailer and just our luck as we show up it just starts pouring rain out so we're trying to get ourselves inside the little warehouse here to uh be able to secure it down look at that just boom just started pouring rain down hopefully we get out of here soon all packed up ready to go with my very decorative uh, packing stuff i have here look at that cool little blanket that's one of a kind i'll tell you that one of a kind packing blanket you'll never get another one like it um here's a concession window that we went with they are aluminum in dundee ohio and then back here this time we went with a seven foot hood from hood mart and it's all in one so they give you the the exhaust thing up top where all the smoke comes out of um the fumes this is the thing that goes inside the trailer or your truck and then this is the part that like goes up towards that i'll show you guys how to install all this fun stuff but just want to give you how we're packing it up because we're about to head back home and oh stop in elkhart and pick up the water tanks that's about it and we're on the way back as i'm headed out west i think it's gonna rain i can see the rain clouds out there and again all my material in the back wet but at least it's all i guess you could call it rainproof stain proof stainless steel and it's all packed up tight I hope, or else we're gonna be stopping and picking it up. But big old rain clouds right over there. All right, here in the city of Elkhart, Indiana, there's an airport right on this side. And right here, this building that doesn't really have a sign is Class A Customs. That's where the water tanks are located at. We're about to pick them up. You guys can see all the tanks that they have back there that they make them here in-house so these are nsf rated and then we're able to use them for our food truck and meet our health codes these are the tanks right here it's a 20 gallon and a 25 gallon undermount sink look at that fit perfectly in that little spot for some reason last year i was not able to fit them there but this year i am and then this one right there is uh, the 20 gallon undermount sink as well but i mount them inside the trailer as you guys will see when i install them but these are the two specific sizes and the exact dimensions that i need to make them fit underneath the three compartment sink and it will fit perfectly uh, because i've done it twice already so this will be the third time that i do it there it is right there class a customs this is their brown building that they have in elkhart indiana all right, so with that being said, we have everything already in place. We're gonna leave the cornfields right now. We have to stop at our favorite place called Fazoli's. Since we don't have that up north, towards Chicago, only Indiana and uh, the surrounding states. So goodbye cornfields, about to hop on the highway, and we'll put everything together and we'll update all the videos. So with that being said, we're about to leave wonderful city of Elkhart, Indiana, all this cornfields right here. Stay tuned for all the videos coming up where we take everything that we just picked up and install it step by step and uh, every detail that you need to install them we'll be covering and if I don't make sure to drop your questions in the comments because I respond to each and every one of them personally. So with that 
goodbye. Woo, woo, woo. Goodbye, cornfields. Off to Chicago we go. It has been an exhausting trip for some reason on this one, but it is what it is. It's done now. So my review, would I go back and pick it all up again? To be honest, this time I probably wouldn't do it. If I had to do it a fourth time, I would not go out there. I'll just have it shipped out to me. And the reason is, is it just seems so far this time. It literally seemed like it was just a long, long trip. Maybe it discouraged me. But uh, if you are close by and you're not that far away from Ohio uh, being... Uh, Elyria, I think it's called, and Dundee, Ohio, then go out there, take a trip. You know, it'll save you about six, six, seven, six to 700 bucks in shipping, about $300 respectively, 300 on one, 300 on the other, and then the water tanks. Um, so that would be my suggestion. If you can have them shipped and you have the financial resources to have them shipped, then do it. If you're trying to save a couple bucks and, and scrounge every penny, which sometimes we find ourselves in that situation, then take a trip out there. And if you could do it in one day, boom, boom, then it's worth it. If you have to take like a, you know, a long drive in, then obviously there's gas, tolls, time involved. So that's something that you have to think about yourself. But I wouldn't do it again. Uh, just out of my perspective, I already did it, like I said, three times. And that was enough for me to say I won't do it again. But great Great people, great products, and I'm excited to put them all in. I just wanted to show you guys what I have been doing and my full review on that. So hopefully you enjoyed that little road trip that we took. But now it's getting back to work time. Uh, we're going to finish up the flooring. We're going to start the electrical. Everything that you guys need to know on how to build this food truck with me, Frank, Bal <laughs> Frank Baltieres. And thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. And thanks for watching.